The play 12 Angry Men is one of the best known, most dramatic plays in American theatrical history. It's one part courtroom drama, one part commentary on the American melting pot, all of it crackling with intensity. And now a Northern Kentucky community theater is bringing this drama to the stage. And so we're glad to welcome this morning Matt Dentino, the lead actor for 12 Angry Men by Merritt Theater Company in Northern Kentucky. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Clyde. It's good to be here. Okie doke. So uh, tell us a little bit about the story uh, uh, behind 12 Angry Men for those of us who aren't familiar with it. Well, as you said, it's a courtroom drama. It starts out after the, the uh, trial has happened and the 12 men are ushered into the jury room to deliberate. And that's literally the opening scene is the 12 men coming in. It's, it's a story about a, uh, a young boy who's accused of murdering his father. And after hearing all the evidence, these 12 men are tasked with sitting down and determining his innocence or guilt. And that's where it all starts. So this was a, this was a, a, a movie and a play originally back 50, 60 years ago, and yet right. it remains relevant, doesn't it? Absolutely. The, 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 the themes are timeless. Um, so you could, you could literally pick it up and put it in a modern day setting and you could still have the same discussion. You could still have the same, even the same lines. It's all very, very relevant. It, it's about men, people talking past each other instead of to each other. And, you know, each one of these men, 12 different men, walk into this jury room, they're from every socioeconomic stratus, and they, they all come to the deliberation, as we all do, with, with their own bias. And that's not to say it's good or bad, it's just the compilation of our, of our experiences in life. We see things through different lenses. And you put them all in, in this room together, and now they have to start having this discussion. And what you find out pretty quickly is that they talk past each other a lot mm -hmm. and and it really is a um it's a reminder that when we sit down to have discussions on topics that you know this is a life and death situation here we have to we have to learn to really communicate not just not just talk sure so for you what's that part of the play that just is really the 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 gut-wrenching most gut-wrenching part of the, of the play yeah it there's a lot of stuff in the play that that will hit me one way or another. The, the, it, it hits the gambit. You you'll you'll chuckle at some things. You'll really be riveted at some stuff. Um, and and not to give the ending away, but the very last moment, our, the actor that we have playing Juror Three has a very very um, heart wrenching, meaningful moment at the very end, and it, it literally makes my eyes water every night that we rehearse it because I'm I'm thinking about him I'm feeling his his situation and he plays it so well that it, it's the emotion is, is it's hard to stop uh, so do you come off the stage drained after rehearsals and will that be the case during the play for you it yes to both it's an intense play. There, there are your emotions are going 60 miles an hour from the start to the finish, and and if we do our job right, which I think we will, we've got a great cast, a really strong cast. I think that the audience will literally be leaning forward in their seat, and when you come out of it, I think there'll be a lot of discussion, a lot of people thinking about things, and and, and renewing that that desire to really want to sit down and talk to somebody. All right, so let's let's get people to the point where they can lean in by telling them how the show, when the show opens rather and how they can get tickets. Sure. We open up on Friday night. We run the 27th through the 3rd. It's down at the Anderson Center. Um, it is so we're running Friday night, two shows on Saturday and on Sunday this week. And then next week it's a little bit of a different schedule. It's Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. You can get tickets by going to merittheater.org, and there's a there's a link there that will get you into um, the the online ticket center. Um, we we hope to see you. We've got you know we've been out of theater for a year and a half. It's nice to get back on the stage, and it'd be nice to be in front of an audience. 
Sounds good, Matt. Let's uh, make sure we get you that audience. Thanks so much for talking to us today. Absolutely. Thanks, Clyde. Good to be here. Indeed.